it's like going back in time. It's like reconnecting with our ancestors. They've already been through this before and now we are remnants of them, you know? So we need to reconnect with that. And they were all connected to mother earth. It was before these systems were set up, before democracies, you know, before the Roman empire and all these things. It's like way, way, way back. The drum, the frequencies, the, the music, the, these are trees. These flutes are made from mother nature where they're singing trees with the sacred breath of us with them. So it is reconnecting back with mother earth. And all of these instruments were found that they were all tuned to 432 Hertz. Like, wait a minute, how, how did they know that back then? Well, even back in other cultures as well, these instruments were found to be tuned in 432 Hertz, which is the matches the natural uh, resonance of mother earth. It's called the Schumann resonance. It's not, I'm not full of shit. Look it up. People, you know, like to battle between 440 Hertz and 432 Hertz. And what does it really mean? Well, I think it means a whole lot. And I think they've been using, web, once again, frequency weapons against us because they knew the difference between 432 and 440 in 1948 or 40, in the 40s around the World War II. They changed the tuning for everybody to record. It, the original was a very tuning. And I think it goes back to Pythagoras, as a matter of fact, the tuning of 432. In 1880, that was the tuning that all of the uh, operatic, everybody that was singing and all the Mozart and Bach and all of those great people, uh, the creators, what are they called? The What are they Posers. called? Composers. They were all writing music and it was all performed in 432 hertz. So all instruments were, were tuned for 432. That was the law, 1881. Boom, all the way to 1940s, 50s, when America and Germany put it into law that all music will be recorded and performed at 440 hertz. This is after they used it against the Jews in the camps. They detuned the music from 432 to 440, and it fucks with the, our brain. It dulls us. So this is what we've been listening to. All of our favorite music. Michael Jackson, the fucking ABC, any children's music that we've listened to since we were children. This is all music that has been detuned to hurt us. And, uh, you know, I have these instruments that are tuned to 432. And then I got some backing soundtracks that are also 432, but they don't match. It doesn't sound good. It's not pleasing to the ear. I would intuitively say to you, if it doesn't sound good, don't do it. <laughs> 432, if you can, you can go on, there's an app that shows you, you know, you, the frequencies, you know, what what's tuned in versus so you can see you know what frequency it is actually on uh, but i would say if it doesn't sound good don't do it I, I don't know if that answers your question to me i wouldn't do it it's got to feel a certain way and you should also look up somatics as well because it's the visualization of frequency you can actually see the frequency and when it's out of tune it looks fucked up you can look at 432 versus 440 and you could see the the disarray in the 440 hertz song versus the 432 song or frequency for that matter so i would definitely check out the somatics because it really yeah. it gives people because people need to see they need to well, they need to see with their eyes saying like, why is this in disharmony you can't really feel it intuitively in your heart and your soul and your or in your ears because we've been trained to accept the disharmony in music you know, you won't, you won't get it. You won't get it. And, and people don't care. They are living their lives. They're living their little matrix ass lives. <laughs>